What's going on YouTube? Asian Eyes White Dragon here. We're dueling at the Dueling Network. Uh, again, uh, my name's different now. There's no number one at the end. Uh, I am an administrator now. So uh, if you have any ruling questions, just uh, PM me. I'll help you out. So uh, I'm going to be going second, unfortunately. But uh, having Cyber Dragon kind of makes everything better. Especially when you have options to, you know, Junk Synchron first turn Stardust Dragon. Especially if he has no back row. That's what we'll do. Marauding Captain? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, he's going for a super commit. <laughs> I'm excited to play this deck. Um, oh, no. So I'm going to activate Card Trooper's effect. Um, I'm going to mill three. Hopefully not milling a Reborn Tengu. Okay. I almost want a point for point, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> He's gonna drop dark honest on me, <laughs> and I'm gonna lose. Success. <laughs> and I'm gonna do attack as marauding captain. <laughs> Alrighty. Getting some damage in there with card trooper. But uh, let's see what we milled over here. We got that dark and that cyber dragon's light, so uh, looks like we got some chaos sorcerer plays next turn. Oh, he's getting cyber dragon. Okay, let, let's see if this guy actually has it in his extra deck. Because if he does have, um, what is it, Chimera Tech uh, Fortress Dragon, uh, he can just fusion them, which will be awesome. Which is fine with me, I really don't care. Um, because obviously, from you know what I'm playing with, I mean, I mean I'm sorry, I'm playing against someone that is running Marauding Captain. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have done that play. I just wanted to see if he would do it. Oh, he does have it. He should fusion all three. <laughs> yeah, usually when I play against a player that I don't think uh, is up to par, I'll put myself at super disadvantage. Like, I'll black rose the field, you know, multiple times sometimes, just for funsies. And just to see if I can play out of it, just because it's always fun to do that. Um, so I'm hoping he goes for Chimera type Fortress, uh, you know. But yeah, um, if card troopers on the field, don't get out Cyber Dragon. <laughs> it's just silly to do so. But yeah, I'm just doing this because uh, I want to put myself at a disadvantage um, to make it maybe kind of balanced, you know. I mean, I do this against six hand players a lot, you know, because you know they're not very good at this game. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, Light Swarm players weren't good like you know a few formats ago. With triple charged, you know, triple honest. That was a really uh, fun format. So it's, it was like, oh, you attack? Okay, drop triple honest? Okay, you lose now. <laughs> I mean, everyone loved that. Like, on multiple levels. That was very, very bad. Especially when you have a Stardust out on the field and you feel safe to attack into that light swing. <laughs> but Colossal Fighter was kind of the option. Okay, he's looking at his extra deck. He's going to synchro for something. If it's not Chimera Type Fortress Dragon, I'll be very disappointed. Because that means that I'll just win really easy. <laughs> I wanted it to be a great challenge for me. Okay, so he's going to Synchro. Oh, I've got a PM. Maybe it's a ruling question. I have to help him out. Oh, there's a ruling over on Lance. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Mistral the Silver Shield. I'm so scared. What is this going to do? He's going to see Oh, I want him to go for Black Rose. Go for Black Rose. Go for Black Rose, please. And blow up the field. <laughs> no, he'll probably go for, um... I don't know. What? Go for Scrap Archfiend? And then he's going to fusion. <laughs> okay. He's going to activate the effect to blow up the field when he doesn't need to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was disappointed. I, I really wanted this uh, B 
be a challenge for me. But uh, Black Rose kind of dies too. Oh, he's gonna monster. Oh, okay, it's cool. It's cool. He's gonna monster rewind his Black Rose. <laughs> he's gonna attack me for 24. I'm totally cool with that. Oh, okay. I've got lots of options. Look at this. Okay. So we're gonna remove and play this card. And this card. And we're going to get out this card. And we're going to use this card's awesome effect. Ooh, I got another PM. Who's this guy? Oh, this guy's awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I just decided to do that. Okay. So uh, we'll get this Tengu out. I mean, I could go for Arcanite have a lot of options. I should go for Black Rose and blow up the field. Um, I'm going to do that because uh, we're going to have some fun. Um, yeah. So we're going to sing go for Black Rose. Uh, we'll activate Black Rose's effect. Uh, and we'll pass it over. And if anyone's wondering if this is ranked, yes, this is ranked. Um, it's just sometimes <laughs> I'll, I'll play against someone that, you know, doesn't have the greatest rating, but uh, it's just for funsies. Also, I like to make it a lot harder for myself like there. Um, you know, obviously I didn't need to do any of that, but um, I wanted to. <laughs> so let's see what it is. Hopefully it's Man Eater Bug. What card is it? Big shield guard now. Oh no, I take I take some damage here. I'm gonna take 900 damage. Oh no, big shield guard now. <laughs> well, she's gonna pull out like some crazy OTK combo right here that I don't even see coming. Oh, pot of duality. Okay, not 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 OTKing this turn. Um, he's gonna he's gonna OTK me next turn. Okay, plague spurs on me. Okay, <laughs> which he can't summon this turn, so that's cool. Oh, shield wing. I don't really like that card. It makes me so uh, I have to attack multiple times. <laughs> but I'll probably end up using Brynak. So uh, he's probably going to add Plague Spray to his hand. And might set it. I don't know. Okay, he was adding Plague Spreader. He should try to synchro anyways. <laughs> I wonder what was up with that one guy that just like decided to uh, be. Oh. Okay, I guess this guy was mad because uh, I'm an administrator and he is not. Oh. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I sing it for Black Rose to blow up the field, anyways. Okay, so he's putting it in face down. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go for Brian. I can just I'm just gonna Brian loop him, because <laughs> um, I can summon Spore and then sink. That's cool. I'll let him take it back. I don't really. <laughs> okay, it's cool because I'm still gonna Brian him anyways. <laughs> All right, so um, ooh, what does Junk Synchron allow us to go to? We can Junk Synchron to get Glow Bulb, and go for Armory, <laughs> and then we can. No, I just want to do this uh, the worst way possible. I know I have lots of other options, but I'm gonna do this um, the way that 
isn't as good. Actually, no, we'll, we'll do this. We'll, we'll do this. We'll go for the spore. And then we will mill one for global. Battle fate or something I don't need. And then we'll synchro for five. Which is Cataster. And then Effect of Tengu to special summon Tengu. Tengu to, Tengu's effect is too good. Um, and then we'll go Cataster and Spore to make another level. I'm sorry, level six. Okay, and then we'll use Bryo's effect to uh, put this to the top. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, graveyard. Oh, okay, so I couldn't find the graveyard. <laughs> and, and when you use Brownex effect, uh, this is just a tip. Use one card at a time, because if they affect Baylor, you lose your entire hand. You'll be like, what happened? Um, I can still special summon my spore by removing from play gold bulb. Now I remove from play gold bulb. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Remove from play. Yeah, I'm sorry. Remove from play gold bulb. Special summon the spore. And then we get to sync this and this, and we get another another level five, which I don't have, which is awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, it is level six. <laughs> so we go, we can go for Guy Knight, Force of the Earth. <laughs> and then I solve my pot of avarice, so I can put back everything. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, it's basically just putting back my Tengus. Because, um, I want to see if he drops Gores first. Because that will determine what I actually want to put back. So, we're going to attack. Okay, so he took all the damage. Um, I mean, he might run Necro Valley. This guy's, this guy's kind of tricky. We better activate that Avarice now. Um... I didn't honestly do the math, but, uh, whoops, uh, where's my calculator? There's my handy dandy calculator. <laughs> I know I'm Asian Ice White Dragon, but I still can't do math in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep, that is correct. So I'm gonna put those ten Tengus back, uh... I might need that Battle Fitter, I don't know. <laughs> uh... I need that spore again. <laughs> um, I, I need to keep another dark in there. Because I'm going to return Chaos Sorcerer as well. And let's go with that. And then we get to draw two cards. So we could send back whatever he sends back with Brian. <laughs> It's gonna be Dark Hole. I I'm gonna be happy if it's Dark Hole. I really wanted it to be Dark Hole. Because if it was Dark Hole, that'd make it <laughs> kind of challenging because I'd have to go for Frozen Fish Gerald. Uh, <laughs> I I'm pretty sure it's a good game. Other Okay, there we go. That's gonna be game, guys. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Asian Ice White Dragon, signing out.